In today's Apple Numbers spreadsheet demonstration, we're going to work out hours worked and when them hours span midnight. And here we have a very basic timesheet. But first, what you want to do is you want to highlight all the cells within the sheet and come over to Format in the top right hand corner. And then from here, you want the Cell tab. And then select the Data Format drop down box here. And then you want to select Date and Time. As we're working with just hours, we don't want the date. And you can select None. And in the Time Format, you can have it any way you wish. So now let's start entering the work times. So let's say this person works at seven in the morning. We'll then enter seven colon zero zero. And this will indicate that this person has started work at seven a.m. And let's say this person finished work at five p.m. So we put seventeen colon zero zero. And this will indicate that this person has finished work at five p.m. Now just clicking a five will not work. As you can see, this does not indicate a time. However, if you don't want to use a twenty four hour clock, can do it manually by pressing 5 colon 00, zero space and then pm and this will work as a time so you have to make sure that you type in the times correctly i'll just skip this part and i'll quickly fill in all the times so now with all the times in let's work out how many hours this person has worked so let's click into d2 here and we want to press the equals key on the keyboard you first want to select the end of the working day here in c2 and you want to press the minus key and select the start time in B2. And then you can press the enter key or this little green tick. And there, as you can see, the hours worked are 10 hours. You can change the style on the right hand side here. You can select all the different ways how you want to display the times. Now with D2 highlighted, what you can do, you'd see this little yellow tab here. You want to click it and hold and drag into the rest of the cells below. But as you can see here on Thursday, it's indicating this person has worked minus 14 hours as this person has worked a night shift and it is unable to work it out. However, we'll show you how to do that now. So let's press the equals key to bring up the function box and we need to use the if function. So we'll type if, then open bracket. Then you want to select the start of the working day in B5 and if it's greater than the end time, hyphen, end time again. Now you want to type in a plus one, hyphen, end time again, close bracket, minus the start time. And you want to press the little green tick or enter. And as you can see, it's now worked out that this person has worked 11 hours. So what you want to do is you want to drag this up into the other cells and down into the bottom cells. Nothing actually changes. However, if these are changed to night shift hours, it will quickly work out for you. So let's change this bottom here to 2200 hours. As you can see, it works out the hours correctly for you. So even though it may seem a complicated function, it's much better if you have someone who works night shifts. Let's work out the total hours worked for that week in D7, and then come up to insert and select sum. And it's worked out that we've worked 45 hours. And as you can see, it's not showing the minutes. So we come to the cell tab over here and we select minutes and it starts to show the minutes worked. So that's how to calculate hours worked when they span midnight. I hope you found that video helpful. And if you did, check out this playlist here where we have many other Apple Numbers spreadsheet demonstrations. And thank you for watching.